All right, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take your Xbox 360 Slim apart and do a hot swap. Okay, so here is your Xbox 360 Slim. Um, the first thing you need to do is get the sides off. So you need to get it looking like this. Um, so what I'm going to show you on this side, because I already did my other side. This is the hard drive side. So all you need to do is do that, and then uh, and then what you want to do, you just want to. Uh, Pull your hard drive out, my hard drive is still warm, but so I'm going to put that somewhere safe. Then you want to get your uh, screwdriver, just stick it in, push up, or stick it in, push up, and uh, or do it closer towards the edge. That's it, and it just pops off like that. Then the next thing you want to do is like a clip there, there. There, 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 and there, and there. So all you want to do is uh, try your best to get that off by oh, spastics. If this happens, just don't worry, it'll pop off. Just, just wedge your screwdriver and do this. Do this. Do this. And then, um, just pop it off like that. And then, uh, it should, and there goes my phone, it should all pop off just like that. Um, so now you need to put that over by your parts. See, now you have your Xbox uh, 360 Slim open at one side. Uh, if you're like me and you've just taken one side off, you need this side off as well. So what you need to do is get the clips wherever they are there. Um, just take your wireless thing out. There's a little screw that goes in there. And what you'll need to do, um, where is it? You'll need to get your T10 screwdriver, and there'll be a screw for it somewhere. There it is. You'll need to get your uh, freaking oh god damn it! Let's just put it in. Shit. Well, I've dropped my screw now, but all you need to do is <laughs> is unscrew it. Then just take it out, it's like a little USB slot thing. Um, take it out and then just put that somewhere safe, like really, really safe on the floor. <laughs> Let's try and get my screw out. Come on. God damn it. Alright, I'll get that out later. Um, then you'll need to get this off, so if you give me a sec, I'll just do that. Uh, all you need to do, just uh, so you won't see this, what you need to do, these clips just wedge your screwdriver and you'll be able to get this off. And now if you just pull that off, there we go. Uh, so you need to put that, again, somewhere safe. Right, the next thing you want to do, you've got your Xbox 360 console. What you want to do, you want to get these uh, two clips there, there. There's one there, and there's one right there okay um right down there uh so what you want to do now is you want to get your uh, clips with your screwdriver and just kind of bend them open so it pops out like that see it pops out like that see oh yes my screw hang on Okay, my screws just come out, so all you want to do is keep that somewhere safe, okay? Just put it right there, or on a table or something. Um, then you want to do the other side. Let's do exactly what I did. Just get your fucking... God damn it. Get your... Uh screwdriver in there and just wedge it behind the clip and pull and then you need to leave that screwdriver best thing is to leave that screwdriver in there 
so it keeps the clip open. Oh. Yeah, you need to leave that screwdriver in there so it keeps the clip open there. Then right there where I'm looking at, like there, you need to get another screwdriver. Um, so it's best if you have two of them. But I've got a different set of screwdrivers with screwdriver heads, so um so you, all you need to do is uh is get your screwdriver right where the sticker would be and just push I need to put this on the floor. So now you've got your one of your, another screw I've I've just gone and got another screwdriver and now you've got it wedged in there. What you can do um, I need to set the phone down somewhere. You can uh, just do what I do, okay? If you can see the camera right there. So you've got this bit of your Xbox, okay? You need to. Oh, shit. Basically, you just need to wedge your screwdriver in here and push or whatever. Oh, shit. Get a bigger one. There we go. There we go, Xbox is open. So you needed to wedge your screwdriver in there and that pushes that clip forward. And there we go. So you just bring that forward and slide it back. That's that bit off. Right, the next bit you wanna do, um, you wanna uh, just, just watch that, okay? You wanna um, just do these screws real quick. Right, so you need um, your T, your T10 again, your T10 screwdriver. You need your T10 screwdriver, and uh, all you do is screw these five screws. So you've got one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And all you need to do is just completely unscrew these and just put them down just make sure you keep all your screws in a safe place because you don't want to you don't want to uh, lose your screws because then you're kind of sc <laughs> screwed then you kind of uh, kind of hang on a sec. Then you kind of gonna be uh, messed up. So yeah, um, if you're watching this video, please give it a like, uh, give it a comment, a good one, and give it uh, just go right down below the video and press subscribe if you haven't already, uh, because that would be much appreciated. And then it it allows me to keep making these videos for you guys uh, to help you out on whatever you're doing. One last one. There we go. Come in. And then that is your screws out. So what you need to do now, you need to flip your xbox over you need to take the front off so just lift lift that bit off first put that bit down then lift this metal bit off put that bit with there now we can see inside the xbox now we can see inside the xbox um and what we need to do now 
this front bit, it's very delicate. So all we need to do with this little blue plug right here, you want to be really careful. You just want to pull it and then push it forward and then it comes off. So if you didn't see that, because um, my Xbox, my freaking, right there we go. You want to pull it and then pull it out like that so you get this bit. You want to be real careful because if this breaks you're kind of screwed so uh so yeah because it's just a little little tiny blue thing so we're just gonna pop that over with our kit reel here and then now you can lift your disc tray up but you've got these wires at the back so all you want to do um is just unplug the wires it's gonna require two hands again See, all I'm going to do now is uh, get these wires and just pull and uh, be really careful and pull. Um, and then, So now you've got your disc tray open because you unplugged these wires right here. Um, it needed two hands. If that wasn't caught on recording, I'm not too sure if it was. But um, you need these two. Unplug them. You need two hands for it. That's why it wasn't recorded, or it might not have been recorded. I don't know. I can't remember because my phone's just kind of glitched. So <sighs> what you'll need to do, you'll need to get your disc tray. Just uh, take your take your uh, thingy off. They'll have a sticker there if you haven't done it before. You need to take that off and then take this magnet out. Um, and then kind of like pop that back on and then you'll need to uh, flip it over and start getting your uh, Phillips head screwdriver and unscrewing all four screws I'm gonna pause it now again you want to keep all these four screws once you've got them off let's put that down real quick you want to put all these four screws in a safe safe place with the other lot of screws so I just get these five then four that's all these screws you should have um then the disc tray you kind of lift oh, fuck. you kind of lift it up um and slide it back but you meant to do it on the other side <laughs> I just took the wrong side off so um uh, I can't <laughs> what the fuck? um let's just lift it up Oh, there comes the disc. Lift it up and uh, kind of slide it forward. There we go. That's the. If you take the back off like me, you don't need to lift that bit up. You just need to slide that bit forward. Then you can put the back back on like that. And now you have your disc tray. This game is going to be what we're going to hot swap: Grand Theft Auto IV Episode from Liberty City. So now we've got this, all you need to do is uh, put your uh, disc tray back on. Um, let's set it back right back here. All I'm going to do is plug these things back in real quick. Now once this plugs back in, what you want to do, you want to just connect up to your power supply and any, any other wires that you may be using, such as a HDMI lead, and a uh, and a Scott lead. So now they're in. You need a controller for this bit, okay, guys? A Xbox 360 controller. Um, go over. I'm gonna turn my TV on. And we're just gonna uh, just gonna mute this. I've got surround sound. And what you want to do, you want to just because it hasn't loaded up right, you just put them up there. Oh shit! Right, next thing, don't do that. Just ignore what I've just said. Just turn your Xbox off. Get your hard drive. <laughs> Put your hard drive back in until it clicks. Plug the uh, plug 
plug the freaking power supply back in start your xbox 360 back up that'll just spin like that because it's not done anything yet then what you want to do you want to go find your uh, modded iso see mine's gtiv deadly fishes 4.0 script mods plus shark edition you want to get that um how am i going to do this Right, so what you want to do, you want to open a tray, get your disc, put it in, oh my god, put it in, put the magnet on, I'll start spinning, you want to turn auto load up off, um, and then you want to click X for game details, then you want to then you want to click. Um, then you want to click install. Mine's already installed, but um, what I'll do, I'll delete it and do it again. Just before you do that, you want to get an, uh, get a USB and plug it in. Make sure it's compatible with your Xbox, and then I'll show you what it does. Alright, what you want to do, got your USB configured, what you want to do, just going back onto GTA, press X for game details, click install, and then um, what it'll do, it'll do that, right, and then bring up this. Now, what you can do, you can do your hot swap. So, get your modded disc in one hand, thumb of the magnet, like thumb, finger there, see? And then, just let you go without dropping the magnet. And then, click hard drive. Click hard drive and that'll go installing game 1%. Oh, I'm just going to show you that again because that kind of failed without like dropping it, you know. It's not scratched or anything, which is a good thing. So your GTA is spinning up. <laughs> then you want to click X game details, uh, game details, go down to install. And then you click install, it's doing all this stuff. Then when you're ready, just when you're ready, and you click hard drive, start spinning again, and then and then off it goes installing. So uh, hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I will uh, bring another video out to you showing you a. Create uh, a view of what the Deadly Fishes 4.0 Shark Edition custom mods do, and then uh, yeah, see you next video.